Hi, we're here at the Open Video Conference in New York. By 2013, 90% of all internet traffic will be video. And the Vision on TV, we want to enable citizen journalists and filmmakers for social change to participate fully in that revolution. So here at the Open Video Conference, we've been asking the experienced people here how to set up an open video project. What should you do and what should you not do? I would definitely not look into how should I prevent people from watching my content. I think uh, it seems like there is a lot of effort going into uh, not allowing people to get the content in different places, which I think is uh, counterproductive for everybody. Well, I wouldn't create a walled garden. I wouldn't want to try to hold everything in, and I wouldn't want to uh, keep my users locked into a relationship. I think it's about if the content, the content needs to breed and live on its own. Launch another show that features a female talking head reading headlines in front of a green screen. There's a lot of those. I would not overly script uh, video presentations. I would not act as, hey, this is Andy Plesser, and today we're going to talk, you know, it's just not necessary. People don't need that. You need to be a guide. You don't need to be a sort of a, a moderator or an interpreter or a, or a host. I think there's some people like, you know, who are very talented and good looking and have a great way of uh, presenting material, but I think letting the subject speak uh, is, is really the most powerful way if you can do that. Just try to understand what's television and what's the internet. It's two different medium and you're creating from the internet, not for television. So that's a big mistake people do when they do an internet video project. They're too much influenced by uh, what they've seen on television. And they forget that they're not bound to do that. So that's what you should not do. We do like television-like. trying this whole notion that we went through, I think a lot of people went through a few years ago, of trying to build your own, uh, even open source system, you know, we'll build it, we'll contribute it back to the community. Uh, nice idea, but if there's already something out there that works well, use it and develop for that, so then you're really contributing back to a much bigger community. I think it's, you know, important to not worry too much about the tools you're using, to not be puritanical, because I've definitely had times where, you know, uh, for a while I was trying to use all open source stuff for it, but I didn't get a whole lot done because I was spending a lot of time learning the tools. And some of the tools aren't up to snuff. It's important not to cozy up to those in power, to enjoy the perks of the powerful, to enjoy the access of evil. Um, that's trading truth for access. You know, you go to the prime minister or the president's news conference, you know, if you lob a softball, they're more likely to call on you again. Well, that's not worth it.